So a big shout out to Lux Umbra for dropping me into this rabbit hole. For Vision for trying to pull me out, both from the Da Vinci Resolve community discord server. And finally, a big thank you to Dan from Orson Lords discord server for finally pulling me out. I give you this text that randomly changes angles for each new subtitle. Enjoy. I'm going to send it over as a fairly basic package. You can make it your own by changing fonts and colours and all that kind of malarkey. Cheers! Okay, so this is the sort of original promo timeline thing. It's boring. It was deliberately boring. The reason I sent the preset out this way is because it's accessible on any machine basically open sans font everybody has it so we don't have the oh my god i used your preset and i got a black screen you won't because you'll have open sans font the point of the video is to sort of say that's not how you need to use it what you need to do right click go to import bin and look for this temp SCDRB, click it and open. That will open this temp SC folder. Inside you'll find a vertical and horizontal sized preset. But they're boring. Like I said, it's open sans font. It's nothing spectacular. So what you need to do is make it your own. So all you do, drag a copy from the temporary folder onto your timeline. Now you can do what you want to this pretty much. The only thing that I will say is at no point screw with this because if you do it will break. So ignore that completely. Go to the shading tab. Actually stay on your text page first. Pick the font you like. So I'll go with Rubik because I like Rubik. Set your font up. Go to the shading tab and start playing with it, make it how you want it to look. So you might want a different colour font, you might want to add an outline. You can change your outline settings, you can change the outline colour. You can increase the thickness of your outline. If you want to add a glow, don't use the glow settings here because it, it just it bugs everything up. It doesn't work properly. So if you want to do things like adding glow, you can select your text. You can click on the little fusion icon at the top here and go into fusion. Once you're in fusion, make sure templates is selected. Shift space bar type glow. Hit enter and we can start customizing our glow. What I did was I use the a second output from the template onto the mask input of the glow select the glow go to settings and apply mask inverted what this does is it leaves your text without a glow and just puts the glow on the outside of your text so you can now change the settings for your glow so you can increase the size and the brightness a bit and now you can go back to the edit page and what you will do is you will open your snap captions folder and you will drag this text into it again i'm not going to because i've already done it what you'll end up with is a text plus node which you can then click on the text and you can change it to whatever you want so i've changed it to angle custom so we can now delete this off here. Now, if we come back to our video, we can delete the boring captions. Go to workspace, scripts, comp, snap caption, and we can select our custom angle text and generate
and now we have a much more interesting looking text so that's basically it as i say the plugin is designed for use with snap caption although i think if you place the text manually it should also change angles although i haven't tried it you can experiment with that yourselves anyway hope it's helpful and i hope you find it useful please feel free to like subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will catch you on the next one cheers